what your body gotta do. What? Hey what's up guys, it's Nuvo One Video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make thumbnails using Android. So I know I've already done a video about that but it was really really old and so many of you guys have been asking me to redo the video. So if you guys would like to uh, like grow your channel, you need to start by improving your thumbnails because thumbnails are really really important to get more views because once people search about a video, it's going to pop so many videos with the same topic so the people will just press on the video that have a better thumbnail so that's why you need need to get a great thumbnails on your YouTube videos and without taking a longer guys let's get started so as always we are going to be using Adobe Photoshop Touch which is like the best photo editor on Android there's no deal about it guys and once you guys download this you can go ahead and download from the description below so once you guys download it open it up and you will have something like that so I'm gonna go ahead and just press on that button on the bottom and it's going to pop this brand new list so hit on blank document and it's going to pop this brand new window so create a brand new blank document with a resolution of 1280 per 720 which is the HD resolution of the YouTube thumbnails alright once you guys done that you will have a blank document just like that alright once you guys done that go ahead and just import a random picture like it could be whatever you want so I'm gonna go ahead and just upload my like previous thumbnail which is right over here so just go ahead and just transform it and put it wherever you want from for example I'm gonna go ahead and just make it uh, like bigger and here we go as you can see right over here I'm done all right once you guys done that hit on that effect button on the top and hit on that blur effect and make sure that you go ahead and just drag it to 128 like that and just uh, add that uh, like effect a couple more times about five or six times so till it's like blurred up completely blurred up and here we go once you guys done that now we are going to add a text so in Adobe Photoshop Touch there's like a bad like fonts right over here you can't actually use them to make a great thumbnail so what I suggest you to do is you're gonna go ahead to the link which will be in the description below and it's going to take you to my full tutorial on how to install custom fonts on Adobe Photoshop Touch and you will have something just like that so go ahead and import uh, into Adobe Photoshop Touch your text so I'm actually using a font called Cuarzo which is really clear and awesome I really suggest you check it out the link will be in the description below for my fonts and I always use this one because it looks pretty awesome so go ahead and just put your text which your text is like closer the words are actually closer to to each other once you guys done that hit on that like layers button and just make sure that you go ahead and just select the top layer which is right over here and then hit on that layers button and hit on that layer tab again and it's going to pop this brand new like window hit on manage down so manage down all the uh, like text uh, layers right over here till you will have one layer that have the text then hit on that end button hit on transform and transform the layers uh, the text layers to you will be happy with it so make like a bigger and here we go so once you guys feel it in the screen so as you can see right over here it looks pretty bad so we need to go ahead and make the text pop by adding by adding sorry a like drop shadow so go ahead and press on that button right over here and hit on drop shadow and copy my options or my configuration so make sure that the blur says uh, like 4 so I usually put like 4 just like that and also make sure that the distance is set to 0 like that so once that done hit on the check mark button and add this uh, drop shadow effect a couple more times till you will be happy about the results so as you can see right over here our text looks way way much better than the first time it's like it's popped now it looks really awesome in my opinion and you are now ready to add some uh, like effects to your text so what I usually do I add a color to my text which make it look really awesome so first thing go ahead and select the magic one tool and hit on that mod until it says plus and now go ahead and just select the letters that you guys would like to colorate so I'm gonna head and just select make just like so once that done hit on that end sign and hit on that fill and stroke and from here as you can see you can go ahead and change the color of your very own text it looks really awesome in my opinion I, I always like use this effect in my thumbnails it looks really nice as you can see and once that done let me go ahead and just do the same the same thing for dope but this time I'm gonna head and just change the the color I'm gonna head and just add the gradient as you can see so that looks really awesome by the way like this effect is like a beast in thumbnails so I really suggest you try it out okay once that done guys I think I'm gonna head and just let the thumbnails like white it looks really nice so uh, I don't have to change it anyways once you guys done that you need to go ahead and add something special into your very own thumbnail 
So for me, I just added this uh, like emoji right over here. So let me go ahead and just remove the background really quick. So I'm gonna have and just like the background and clear. So anyways, guys, uh, what I was gonna say is what you are going to add. It actually depends on uh, like the topic of your video. So this is how to make a thumbnails, really cool thumbnails. So I did add a cool emoji. But if your video is about like unboxing a phone and stuff like that, you can go ahead and add the phone into your thumbnails. Or if your app is, uh, if your video, sorry, is about reviewing an app or stuff like that you can then add the icon of the app it could be wherever you want just be creative and add your very own customization so i think that's about for this video this is how to make a really awesome thumbnail and another tip guys to make a really cool thumbnail just would like to say that you need to cover up all the background with the text and with your very own emoji or icon or whatever just make sure that you fill up the the thumbnail with the really cool stuff so make sure that the background is actually all covered up same as this thumbnail right over here so the viewer of the thumbnail will focus on is on the thumbnail not on the background so this our this video this is how to how do i make my very own thumbnails i hope Hope that you guys did enjoy this video and i hope that this video was helpful for you guys if you did enjoy this video please be sure to give this video a huge big thumbs up down below that would mean a lot for me and also guys check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you didn't join me already and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video peace out